everybody, it's your crazy bagel Shabby. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be jumping back into One Division with episode four, and we are five episodes away from this series ending already. It's gone so quickly. <laughs> um, the, where is the time gone? I'm so excited for this episode. Um, just before we jump in, as usual, I do say like my sort of theories about what's going to happen. Um, with the advertisement, we did get like, um, like me and Alex were talking. Quick plug, uh, I have a podcast with me and the Basden brothers at the moment with Alex and it is a podcast aka show where we talk everything to do with the shows that we love, all the theories and just what we loved, what we didn't love about it um, and just what may happen in the next few episodes that are upcoming. So in that we were talking about the fact that in obviously the previous episode um, the advertisement was about Wanda getting her powers and releasing the goddess. So in this one it's either going to be about the Avengers or it has to be more about Pietro and his death. But I read all oh, actually it could be Ultron as well because yeah Ultron it could be Ultron actually. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. I think it might be Ultron or Pietro, but I think it definitely, now thinking about it, it might be Ultron. Anyway, um, for the rest of the episode, we did hope that, I can't remember his name right now, but the actor who did play Ultron, we were hoping that he would make an appearance in this show, just because he's so incredibly talented, it would be amazing to see him again. And even in human form, it would be great to just have him in this episode, like maybe just a small cameo or something. Um, in terms of the tension, I'm excited to see where it goes this episode. Uh, and I hope we just like unveil more. It's just like this show is so addictive and it's also just like worrying. It's like, what the heck is going on? What's going to happen? Oh, okay. Um, but for other theories, obviously we're going to see more of the kids and that's going to be exciting where that goes too. So I wonder if we're going to see them a little bit more grown up. Obviously it is, I think it's the 80s this episode, so oh, could be worrying about what's going to happen, but oh, it's endless possibilities. So anyway, let's just jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Oh. Oh, end game. Disappeared. Mm hmm. What a way to start. Nice. Is this going to be an episode about her? Ooh. Your missing person is in the witness protection program. I have contacted known associates, relatives. Well, let me guess, none of them have seen him either. No. None of them have ever heard of him. Doesn't seem hanky to me. West, you to my colleague here. No such place. And, um, I'm sorry, what, what town are you from? Eastview. Westview. Thank you, Sarah. I'll reach out if we need any further assistance. Ah. Okay. I just exited the episode by accident. But, I was gonna say, does that mean that... I don't know if it's Wanda's powers, because I did say small, um going off topic of watching the episode and just talking about a theory I spoke about in Aftermath, I said that it is possible, um, especially because this did happen in the comics and this um, has been theorised a lot by people, that Mephisto is going to be in this in the Marvel Universe, which I hope, um, that it's possible that Wanda could have made a, a deal with him to have, you know, to ask for, like, either Wanda brings back Vision or she, or Mephisto brings back Vision, or... Mephisto sort of like creates this sort of like realm for her where she can obviously alternate things to her liking but obviously as we can see that's going really uncontrollable and really unstable um with this this is very interesting the fact that there's a plot of land and it's supposed to be east view and it's west view which means that if it is Mephisto or even if it's Wanda it's changing things in the real world and alternating all this stuff. And the fact that they were saying as well that they cannot con contact the people who are inside this town or like inside that like like area of all those houses, that means that it's messing with the people who are in the real world as well. So that's really interesting. <gasps> the helicopter! Captain Rambo. Why 
Damn, she got dragged in. Darcy! What's your field? We're not supposed to talk to each other. <laughs> know it all? Come on, man. I'm a chemical engineer. No one cares. <laughs> That's what you get, boy. <gasps> Will she be able to. Oh, she can I see! You gonna go? Yes, sir. These swords will take. Oh my time. god! Wait! You can find anything you can. Alex was right, because we were talking about this in the second episode of Aftermath. Not the second episode, sorry. The first episode where we did a double, like, podcast of the two episodes that came out in the first week. We were saying that, um, well, Alex was saying that it's possible that someone may have been wearing a hazmat suit here, which they are, and instead they come out looking like they're wearing something else in Wonders World, which was a beekeeper. So... He was right! That has to be the guy that went in! Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen then, How he, if he rewinds or anything. That's crazy cool! Ah, oh, Alex is right! Nice, at least that's now on record. What do you know? <sighs> My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMB. What a- that's... Relic radiation. I don't like this guy. <laughs> it's <I> like, what?! <laughs> I love that the thi like, the, they're writing questions like that, like, they're also asking it. But that's the same question why we're all asking it. Because, like, recently I saw, like, is it the Infinity Stones? It's supposed to be, like, Hex for, like, Hex powers for one. That's brilliant. I love that. It's, like, sort of like a, like a, just like a question back in the audience. I love that. Damn, he's been crawling for a long ass time. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Wait, so did he ever find his way back? Oh, that's so amazing how, like, the universe is trying to, like, sort of take that information in as if it is, like, TV or, like, you know, program. That's awesome. Oh, my God. What did Wanda do to him, though? <gasps> do we get to... Oh. Do we get to see anything? Where'd she go? Jesus, it just skipped to the end. It, who is censoring the broadcast? Is it Mephisto or is it Wanda herself? Well, it might be. Oh my god! That's what I was wondering, he looked purple! Don't worry, darling. I have everything under control. 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 Ah. Oh, Vision still isn't, like, key, and he's like, hmm, something's going on. That was a very unexpected episode, because I think all of us just thought, oh, it's going into the 80s, ha ha! But, and I sort of did my eyes, like, bright colours because it was the 80s, but Obviously, it's not the 80s yet, so that means I have more time to think of a better colour because I was going to do red, but then I was like, I did it last week, so I can't do it again. <laughs> I'll think of something cool colours for next next episode. But anyway, wow. I actually, like, at the beginning of the episode, I was a little bit bored. I think I just gotten used to the sitcom, like, style, so I was like, okay, I'm ready to watch another sitcom. But this was quite good. I really like how we were, like, brought out of it and we could see everything else that's going on. And this sort of gives us, like, more time to sort of, like, theorize and think about what's going on. And they've given us a really good perspective. So, with the information that we have, it does fill in those gaps that we had questions with with the first few episodes. Okay, so a lot of people were saying, like, obviously Geraldine... Geraldine... Monica was like an outsider from the beginning so it is that I just thought that she happened to be in the same town or like in the same area and somehow got like warped into this like Wanda's story um but obviously she accidentally went into this universe just as it was beginning like she didn't mean to so and it's also very interesting about the fact that there's a whole town missing and this is like all prior to like the actual show beginning um so mm, it's very interesting but with the now so the information we've been given so obviously with this alternate reality or universe um a whole town was taken and everyone who was in it 
have been cast in this show. So that's the one thing that I'm wondering if it, like, again, like, I'm sort of connecting it back to Mephisto, because I think Mephisto is, like, one of these, like, has to some has to have something to do with this. I feel like it. Or Agnes, um, Agnes, what is it? Agatha, no, Agatha Harkness, because that was another theory he came up with, that Agatha Harkness is Agnes. Um, and then she's, like, sort of playing that role of sort of, like, watching what's going on and keeping it moving sort of thing. The information we were given... Obviously, it's like everything that goes in there, it obviously changes and sort of alternates so like it fits the time. So obviously with the helicopter, it was very, very like high tech, but going in there, it turned into like a retro helicopter. And then with Alex being proven right, <laughs> the um, guy in the sort of like hazmat suit went in there and then it changed into like a bee beekeeper suit um and then the skipping rope came out instead of just like the the um chain that was holding him on so that's so cool i love those little details because it's showing like that it sort of is like a tv it's registering it and changing it to sort of suit it now going to the big thing that happened which was wanda shooting Geraldine out of the universe. It felt like someone else was in that room when it happened. So that's why I was like, oh my God, are we going to see Mephisto? Uh, but no. But it's a little scary. And it's obviously showing that not only is Wanda becoming a little bit like um, unstable with her powers and how it's having an effect on this alternate universe, but how controllative she's becoming of this reality. And you see that, especially when she's talking to Geraldine, she's like, all this like magic and even her magic looked a little bit like unstable um a, like as if it was also like this rage like being shown in the magic which was so cool and like more like wisps like almost like darkness so i sort of like that um and then uh seeing vision i knew something was off because even i was gonna say is that just me or did they make a mistake i was gonna say at the end if that still went on and it was purple i was gonna say is like did they make a mistake with the colorization or something? And then you, like, she turns and, the, oh, mm, huh, love it. But that was like, what? Okay. Um, but I love that little detail. Like, the fact that she was reminded of the actual, like, events that Vision was dead. It's not actually him. But another detail is that Vision knows that something's up. He knows for sure. And definitely think he's going to get more and more, like, curious about what's going on. And it's going to be cool how he responds to it, especially when it comes to the fact of him realizing that this isn't real and that, you know, this is all of Wanda's actions. And I think he is sort of coming to terms with that too because of the fact that, you know, Wanda is saying constantly, I have it under control, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I think he knows that it's her doing all this. And, you know, even Vision himself even had fears of Wanda's powers because he knew how powerful she was. Um, so... It's going to be interesting to see if she, if he does confront her and say like, oh, something's wrong or something like that. And she, you know, keeps rewinding it or forwarding it, etc. Oh, that's going to be interesting to see. And I'm sort of, so, <laughs> I'm so used to the sitcom format now. So then I was like, oh my God, we're going to get like a new advertisement. This is going to happen. There's going to be tension. No, this completely threw, I think, I and will throw everybody out of the park, especially because of the fact that it's not the normal episode. Not a normal episode, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but I'm excited. It means next week's the 80s one. So mm, we're fast approaching the end, but oh god, it's so terrifying. I can't wait to see what this show has in store for us. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of WandaVision. It was very different from the usual episodes we've gotten, but I'm satisfied nonetheless. And I'm excited to see where this goes. Oh, and I, I just, I want to find out what's going on because I, again, like, I'm obsessed with Mephisto. Like, I've wanted him in the Marvel Universe for so long. And even though he's so horrifying, I'm just like, I really, 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 really want him in this, like, show, in the movies. Like, he's so cool. That's why I was thinking, like, you know, maybe he's posing as someone. Maybe um, he's... And I, that's why I thought at first, if you watch the aftermath, that I said that he might be Agnes because he can transform into people. But Agatha Harkness definitely is also a possibility. It has been said, though, that she can be either a friend to Wanda or she can be a villain to Wanda. So it's either way. Um, it could go in two different ways. 
But I really want the Mephisto theory to be true because I love him so much and just he's so cool and terrifying. So if they do bring him in, I will love it so much. But <laughs> remember, if you guys do want to keep up with our podcast and show the aftermath, please remember to subscribe and you will get all the notifications to do with our little show where we're going to be breaking down, obviously, this episode and making some theories for the upcoming episodes. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Mango out. Woo!